Hi, it's Tina from Ideas and Embellishment. And I wanted to jump on here because I saw this person um, on one of my Facebook groups that had this, this item in her junk journal. And I thought it was like, so cute. What is that? It's like this thing that's going around. Um, I don't know. I'm trying a different lighting, so we'll see how this works. But anyway, it's sort of like this. And this is just, uh, I, this was just me playing around and um, trying to figure out how to make it. So it's a little card, and when you open it up, whoa, look at that. La. And I thought you guys would love to know how to make it. And all I did was I used scrap because I wanted to just figure it out. But you can make these really so um with whatever digitals that you want or pictures that you want so the thing of it is is i went ahead and started with a piece of cardstock this cardstock is approximately let's see one two three four five six seven it's eight by four okay folded in half now the thing that you have to remember is the first thing well I digress. The first thing you want to do is make this thing called a mechanism. Um, you want this to be, it has to be a half an inch on either side. So it doesn't matter what size you make this, as long as this piece in the, that, and I'm showing you this, they call it the mechanism, is a half an inch from top to bottom, okay? So if you don't have a scoreboard, um, you can use a ruler and just fold it. But what you want to do is you want to score it down the middle. I'm probably not remembering how to do this. Uh, okay. I can't remember. I can't remember now. Oh, well. Um, you want to score it down the middle and then you want to, which you could just fold it. Then you want to fold it in half like this. I'm going to get this out of the way. Whoops, sorry. Um, so yeah, you want it to be, you want these to be kind of right, like even. Okay. So then... This is kind of tricky. You want to see this little, I'm gonna go ahead and um, just so you can see it lightly. I'm gonna go ahead and lightly do this lightly just in this middle where the fold is. Basically, I'm just putting some lines in this fold right here <clears throat> so you can see them, right? So you want to take this fold right here and you want to bend, you want to fold this. This is going to be kind of tricky. So that this fold meets that fold. And you want to look on the other side, turn it over, and you want to make sure that that fold meets that fold. See what I'm saying? Like this, like that. And then you want to cross, um, do that really good. Now, I always get confused because you have to do it the same way again. So you do it the opposite way, the same way, make sure that fold meets that fold and this fold meets that fold. So basically what you have is you kind of have, if you can see that, a cross, okay? Okay, now what you have here you see what I'm doing? I'm squeezing. You want to make sure, see these parts right here? The parts that have the extra fold. You want to make, you want to sort of squeeze those like, see what I did? Kind of like a cootie catcher back in the day. Anyway, you want to squeeze it so that it looks like this. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy on both sides. Then <clears throat> get your glue. And you want to glue it 
And of course my glue is not going to cooperate. And there she comes. You want to get the glue and you want to find, you want, the, want this in the middle. So I'm going to say it's probably about four. So this is why a grid comes in handy. Something around the middle, some kind of in the middle. And you want to put that right in the middle and glue that. Okay, so that's glued like that. So doesn't this look silly? Yes, it does, but that's okay. But you only wanna glue this part. Then you wanna glue, put glue on the other side, and then you're gonna close it up, and voila, glue the other side. So then what you have is this. Whoop, whoop, not, not dry that. Make sure it's dry. Must be dry. Okay, I'll give it a minute. Have a little glass of wine. <laughs> okay. Okay. So then you want to spread it out like this. Okay. Then you take another piece, which is the same length. Okay. And you want to fold this in half. And then you want to bring this fold up, and I'm using cardstock. So, fold this up like this, and then turn it over, and fold it like this. Okay, so then you have like, like this. Yes. This is, this here you go. Okay, so then, you lay this out, put it kind of in the, and then you wanna take your glue and you just wanna just on this, on this edge, like maybe half, and then fold that down and let that glue on the top of that fold. You see how I did that, the top of the fold? Now on this side, you want to do it on the bottom of the fold, about halfway. Okay? Like that. Make sure it's nice and dry. Give it a second. Give it a second. Watch it not work. It's because I got people watching me. It's not going to work. All right. Thingy. So, I'm going to fold this, twist it down like that. Whoopsie. My little thing didn't work out. So, oh, my glue came off. You know I think I'm going to do? I'm going to use some, I'm going to use this Fabri-Tac. The glue must, wait a minute, that's not right. Something happened. Something happened. This is, oh, I know what I did. These. All right, the glue came off right here. This is here. I'm gonna close that and let it, let it sit up a minute. It's probably hard because it's uh, cardstock. Yeah, it's the cardstock. I need to look at it in a minute. So you have to let that dry. And it's still not dry. But you see what's going on. It's like this one dry. When it dries, it's like that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it like this. So what, what you need to do now is if you, then this is where you can um, add little, little things there. So let's say this is like one and a half by one and three quarters. So you just put little, little pictures here or whatever you want to do. And oh, let's see if I can find some pictures. 
these are kind of cool. These are like little, um, the, the opposite of a little, <clears throat> these are, what do you call them? It's the back of a, no, my God, never mind. Here we are, Tina, back at Tina's house. So what did I say? This was, here's a little thing. I'm going to do this here, this here. So I can cut this. Put it here. Like that. And this is so cute. I mean, you can put it in, like, you can put it in your journal. You can um, put, like, the other one that I did, I just put stamps. I just used stamps. And um, so I have the that paper. Let's see. Then, how about, I could do maybe this paper. It's so easy. Whoops, that one. And that one, I can get here. I'm just like, because I'm not, I just wanted to show y'all, because it's like jumping on here. And then just show that one, put this one down here. Kind of cute. Let's see what else we got. What else we got? Uh, la, 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 la. I have some. Got some of this. Is pretty. Maybe. <clears throat> this is scrap paper. This is a great way to like use up your scrap paper and make something kind of cute. This is, where did I find this? I looked and looked and looked because I saw it and a couple of people had asked her to do a tutorial and she just was like, no. Well, she didn't say no, she just kind of, and I you know a lot of people don't want to share their secrets and that's cool. Um, if you don't, you don't have to. Nobody's, you know, nobody's gonna judge you to, if you don't want to share your secret. Um, but, ooh, math. Is that weird? Nah, I don't want to do the math. Hmm, how about this one? I love these. I love this digital. And, but I was like, I want to I know how to make it. I want to. I want to know. Inquiry minds need to know. So I decided to look it up. And honestly, you can... A lot of things that you can find if you look up pop-up card makers, card makers. You wouldn't even think really that people who made cards would have a lot to do with junk journals, but they do. All right, I think it should be dry now. So basically, you decorate the front, you decorate the inside, you decorate the back. There you go. And open open it up, and there you go, and it's all dry now. Isn't that cute? Isn't that just cute? And you can put it in your junk journal, and you, like I said, you can make these any size you want. All you have to do is remember that you want to make this a half an inch smaller than this, because you want it to be able to, when it closes, you don't want to see it. So that's the reason why you want to make it less, so that it won't show when you close it, so. But anyway, that's awesome. I love it. So let me know what you think if you like this. Um, it was a short one, thank goodness. <laughs> and um, hopefully, look I said, look, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. You put this in a journal, it's so nice. So um, anyway, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you want to see more like this. And happy crafting. Until next time, I will see you later.